Alright guys, so it's been quite a while since I've done any work or even had an update on the airboat. So this is how it sits right now. It's actually been uh, sitting outside for about a year. And uh, for the last year I've been pretty busy with other things. So not much has got done on the airboat. Of course I've got a lot of excuses on why really nothing's been done. Part of it is the fact that it's outside now, it doesn't fit in the shop. And uh, in the middle of winter, you know, it's, it's pretty cold. So it's not, uh, you know, the funnest thing to be working on outside. Now that the weather's good, uh, I'll be working on it outside. And the goal is to have it basically done by this summer. I do have some other projects in the meantime that need to get done. So this isn't uh, top of the list just yet, but uh, I will get back to it shortly. So it has been outside for about a year, just basically in the elements. And uh, how has it fared? Uh, not bad, actually. So these vinyl dyed seats, they look fine. They, they really uh, look all right. Obviously it's dirty inside and there's a lot of leaves and some water to drain out. But overall it's, uh, it's actually done okay, considering that's just been out in the elements. Uh, a lot of freeze thaw. The engine and the props have all been covered up just with this janky tarp, but everything else has been exposed. Same thing with the trailer. I did have an issue where I took it off the trailer a few weeks ago and the winch that I had on uh, was corroded and basically just failed. So I bought a new winch. It's just a cheap uh, Chinese, I think it's a 10,000 pound winch. Um, it's pretty heavy though. I think it'll, it'll do the job this fine. One thing I think I'm gonna do is, is I put a little bit of aluminum on the top already. I think I will just kind of cover it over just a bit. It uh, definitely won't be waterproof, but it, I think it'll help just keep the elements off it just to try to delay the progression of corrosion. One of the issues I have found is on the poly on the bottom, there have been some areas where um, it's popped some rivets and actually you can see that here. So I think it's uh, likely from heat cycling. It might be from uh, freezing, having water get in there and ice jacking. Um, but either way, what I'm gonna do is I'll have to redo some of these rivets. Uh, I'll get it sealed up. And then on the front here, I think some of these compound uh, curves doesn't like the, uh, the change in temperature. So I'm gonna cut a few reliefs in just to take some of that stress out and then uh, uh, re-rivet. There's probably, well, it's not a, not a huge amount of rivets, but uh, some will need to be replaced. For the most part though, down the side and on the bottom, everything actually looks really good there still. So just a bit of work to do. And then the things that need to get done still, um, I would like to paint it. I need to put some uh, polycarbonate probably for the windscreens and uh, I need to add the fuel nozzle and then tuning the ECU. So uh, it's pretty close. I'll, uh, as I said, hopefully uh, have it complete this summer and get it out doing some test drives.